How's it going guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's build, I'm going to be putting an electronics kit into a saber hilt. The hilt that I decided to use is this Maul One Replicas. I did a live stream review of this hilt, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link. So the electronics kit cost around 25 USD shipped. Comes with an LED, DC charging jack, soundboard, rechargeable battery, and a speaker. To charge this saber, you'll need a DC 5 volt USB cord. I only need to make a few small changes to the hilt to be able to fit the electronics in. I've decided I want the charging jack on the side of the hilt, so I'll drill that out and then I'll tap it with an M8.1. Now something else to bear in mind was the heatsink that I received in my kit was very small. It was much smaller than what was shown in the picture. I'm not sure if that was just I received something that I shouldn't have, but I will be changing the heatsink eventually to something more substantial. After that it becomes a matter of just installing the electronics carefully and slowly. The wires tend to wind around the switches when they are being screwed in, so I tried my best to stop them from tangling, but because of the very very limited space in this particular hilt, it was unavoidable. Now to be clear, you cannot add your own sound fonts or effects to this soundboard. What it comes with is what you're stuck with. As to the brightness of the blade, it is quite good. Of course not as bright as something like a NeoPixel, but definitely worth the price. Especially if you're using more of an opaque blade, then the light does travel a lot more evenly. After some time playing around with the wiring and the positioning of things, I've got everything in and working. Now for the speaker, it's actually very very loud, in fact it's too loud. So I put in some sound dampening foam. So the soundboard includes six fonts and has RGB colors to choose from. The sound fonts are as follows. Kylo Ren, Dark Saber, Vader, Cal Kestis, Solo, and Luke. It does have swing and flash on clash effects. So let's get into the testing and have a look at some of the features.
So that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below of something you would like to see me do in a future video. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. I see you've made it to the end. Why don't you subscribe and check out some of our other builds? Go on, what are you waiting for?